Welcome back to the Epic TV Avalanche Awareness Series. In this video, we're going to show you how to wear your transceiver, probe, shovel and airbag, plus cover all the basic essentials you'll need to consider when preparing to go out into the backcountry. Top of the list is to avoid avalanches at any stake. However, when things go wrong, it's important to be prepared and equipped with all the necessary gear. A transceiver makes it possible for others to search for you and allows you to locate your companions after an avalanche. When in search mode, these devices pick up radio signals from the transceivers in transmit mode and help you locate avalanche victims with directional and distance readings. The aim is to make the numbers small on the transceiver and follow the arrows. With me is Peter Billis, the Avalanche Program Manager of the Otago Polytechnic in New Zealand and International Ski Guide. Now, Peter, what do people need to know? What are the basics they need to know about the Avalanche transceiver? With a transceiver, you need to be able to do all the function checks, make sure it operates. Then you have to be really well practiced at using them. You can go to a transceiver park at most mountains. If you can't find a mountain close, you can practice in your garden or at the beach. And what about wearing the transceiver? The best place to wear your transceiver, Graham, is inside an outer layer. You don't want it to fall off in the event of an avalanche. Another very good place to wear it is in a secure pocket where you can quickly access it. What about probing and shoveling techniques? Well, probing is as important as the transceiver because that will help you find the person under the snow once you've located where they are from on top of the snow. It's very important that you methodically probe to reduce the time of doing that. Equally as important is to know how and where to shovel. Good shoveling and probing techniques will reduce the burial time and significantly increase the chances of survival. So what do you need to know about an airbag? Simple device, you just need to have a practiced, instinctive maneuver to grab it and pull it. An airbag significantly reduces the chances of burial and may protect your head and neck in an avalanche. To increase your chances of being found faster, use gear with RECO technology. Donc la chose la plus importante quand on est enfoui dans une avalanche, c'est d'être localisable. Alors le réflecteur RECO et le DVA ne sont pas euh, antagonistes, les deux sont complémentaires. Plus vous avez d'équipements de localisation sur vous, les meilleures seront les chances de, de survie dans une avalanche. Donc euh, les principaux instruments pour être localisables sont le DVA. Et puis un deuxième instrument, c'est le réflecteur RECO, inclus en général dans les vêtements ou dans les casques, dans les chaussures. Donc lorsque vous êtes enfoui dans une avalanche, les services de secours qui sont équipés des détecteurs permettent de retrouver toute personne porteuse d'une pastille RECO qui sont incluses sur les vêtements. C'est une sorte de radar qui envoie un signal et qui est réfléchi par, euh, par ces pastilles. Being equipped with RECO reflectors doesn't replace a transceiver but it does mean you're always searchable to professional rescuers. This increases your chances of being found and being found faster. As well as the essential items, you also want to pack plenty of water and food, a first aid kit and a repair kit, some sun protection, glasses, hat, sun cream, spare clothing and a spare pair of gloves, a solar power bank for charging your phone, a head torch to light the way on those early morning starts and act as a way of attracting attention. And finally, in the mountains, a loud whistle. <coughs> Laminated maps and compasses are great, but there's new technology like FatMap, which is vastly helping skiers and snowboarders evaluate terrain and plan safe routes down the mountain. I mean, one of the biggest problems that's always existed is pulling together all the disparate sources of information you need to decide what it is you're going to do, where you're going to go, when you're going to go. What we've built is a tool that pulls together all of that information in one place that allows you to plan your adventure the night before, check the conditions, understand the weather, and then do exactly the same when you're there on the mountain, making sure you can make decisions properly. Pack your bag in such a way that leaves the most important items easily accessible and always put your shovel and probe in the back pocket of the rucksack. Having this equipment and knowing how to use it properly will make you more prepared for an avalanche situation. In the next video of this series, we'll discuss how to actually use your gear in the field and we'll show you how to recognize obvious warning signs and make important snowpack observations.